What up, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to do another Supreme Draft. But it's worth noting that uh, Team F2K, the team I'm on, is sponsored by NordVPN now. And until September 24th, uh, you can get it's like 68% off or something ridiculous. And uh, if you use uh, the link down below in the description... So definitely check that out. And you also get a month free. So that's pretty cool. It's hot outside. Make sure to go hydrate. I don't have to go hydrate myself. Yeah, 68% 60, off is a pretty insane. It's actually 70% off and one month free. And uh, you can use the link below. I believe it's also like nordvpn.com slash Frank Lepore. Let's check. Let's check that. I got to open my channel though because that's where the link is. Okay. And then we're going to join the draft, too. I love it. I love no waiting. That's, like, one of my favorite parts about this. Uh, yeah, it's just nordvpn.org slash franklabore. So you can go to that link. You can click it down below in the in my Twitch profile. But if you guys are looking for a, uh, a great VPN, I would, I, would, <laughs> I would personally recommend using a VPN because it's... Uh, just keeps you safe. <laughs> I mean, I've had a VPN for years now, and I'm probably gonna take Rakdos Carnarium. It's hot outside. Make sure to go H. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. I know. I got it now because of the space. Wow. Really? This this. <laughs> really, this meme is really branching out here. <sighs> Jesus. I don't think I care about Rakdos, right? That's just too hard. I don't want to deal with all that. I'm going to take Rakdos Carnarium and Seal of Fire. Oh, Detention Sphere seems legit. Do we like a Detention Sphere? Destroy a creature that dealt damage this turn. <laughs> My father works in China and uses Nora to get around the Great Firewall. <laughs> See, that's funny. See, that's funny. Brett, what up, my dude? Thank you for the resub, buddy. I think it's definitely a detention sphere. And then we can figure out what the next card is. It could just be annihilating fire. I like that. Arrows of Justice is nice. Four damage to an attacking or blocking gentleman. <sighs> Call of the Nightwing's interesting. You play it for four. You put it on your dude. You make another 1-1. One, one. You get two 1-1s. One, Do you think Ang used Nord to get around the Fire Nation's wall? See, that's a... See, that's a little... That's a little uh, Avatar meme. I understood that reference. I like Prophetic Prism. I like Grizzly Spectacle. Kills anything. Mugging is good. Arrows. This pack is actually great. This is a great pack. Yeah, so the deal is 70% uh, off and the one month free. So it's a great deal if you guys need a VPN and you guys are looking for that kind of service. So definitely uh, check them out. Grizzly Spectacle. So you have Rakdos Carnarium, we have Detention Sphere. Spectacle, Arrows, Mugging, Prism. Those are the four I'm leaning towards. Oh, I actually do. Nice. I appreciate it. Yeah, and I definitely get a kickback because it's a team It's a team sponsorship, so that would be sweet. And, um... Hmm. This is double black, which does give me pause. But we have Carnarium, and there's no reason not to be double black here. So I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Spectacle. I also think probably Prism is correct. Yeah, I'll just take Prism here. I, I think having an ability to fix your man. Oh, Le Light of the Legion. Are we gonna be Mardu again, splashing this blue card? Maybe. Maybe. Light of the Legion is just a 5-5 flyer. Like, she puts a counter on each white creature, but I don't know how many white creatures we're going to be having. 
I'm gonna be having. I don't know how many white creatures we're gonna have. If they gave me an English trigger. I'm gonna take Gateway Plaza. It's just a guaranteed pick. I just want to have fixing. Um. Pfft. Notion Rain's not bad. Could be Grixis and just splash the white card. I kind of like that a little bit better. Also, drawing cards in this format's really nice. Command the Storm, also a great option. Uh, Light of the Legion does seem great. I'm just reluctant because we have double black, double red here, so I don't know if I want to go into double white. But also, like, without having a bunch of white creatures, it's kind of just like a 5-5 five, five flower. It does seem like a 4. Someone actually gave me a hard time in, in YouTube comments, and they were like, if only you stuck to Bant, but you were too greedy. And I'm like, we went hey, we went 2-1, and this format, like, <laughs> kind of rewards you for going into multiple colors. I feel like you kind of kneecap yourself by not going into multiple colors. Like, Ravnica is known to, for, for, for its fixing and for its, you know, for being multicolored. Like, that's literally the best part of the format. It's either Command or Notion Rain. I want to take Notion Rain. We have a lot of removal. Oh, I guess I'm... Oh, my God. Can you guys confirm that I literally dragged the Notion Rain into my pack and not the other way? Let's need a signet. Uh, a signet in this pack of the one color we are not. That is unfortunate. Maybe we take Civic Wayfinder and Celestia Signet, actually. Those are probably the best cards in this pack. Let's do that. We can always play this here or five color it if we have to. Um, this pack is pretty bad. Don't want pre saint Captain. Launch party is kind of fine. I mean, Vassal Soul is kind of meh. Double Cross Town Courier. <laughs> Electricery is kind of fine, I, gre I guess. Yeah, this pack is unimpressive. I mean, Lodge Party's probably fine. Sure. I'm not, like, super sold on it. A second Carnarium and a Rakdos Signet. That's kind of kind of nice. And I also don't think there's that many cards that are better than those. I think even, even Signet and Carnarium are probably better than Explitter. Dovescape's cute. I don't think it's good enough to, like, play. Yeah, we're definitely taking the Carnarium. I think it's just Signet. Like, mana is just super important. There's another Signet. I think we're taking X Splitter here. I don't think we want a third, a second Rakdos Signet. Um, this is one of the best guild mages, I think. Or it was. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it still holds true in this format. Let's take X Splitter. Spitter, not sp Splitter. He's spitting, not splitting. The problem is the two cards I want, Plumes of Peace and Azorius Guild Mage, are both white and blue. With a Celestia Signet, I think we're closer to white here. But then there's a Coiling Oracle, which I kind of think is cool. So maybe I just want to take that. I'll just take Coiling Oracle. Trans Guild Promenade. Basically, it's the same thing as Gateway Plaza, right? Yeah, except this is not a gate. Sure. Hmm. Blood Fray Giant is a 5-4 with Trample. Slime Molding is not terrible. <sighs> so they're not impressive. Maybe it's maybe it's just the maybe it's just the uh Return to Ravnica packs that aren't super exciting. Man, uh, we only have one original Ravnica pack left. We have Return, Gate Crash, Gate Crash, Allegiance, 
Return, Allegiance, Allegiance, and Gate Crash down here. So we didn't actually get any... Dis we got two Dissension. We didn't get any Guild Pact packs. Out of 18 packs, no Guild Pact. That's weird. Good luck with the drafts. Gonna have to catch on these two. Oh, love and crafty. Enjoy your uh, afternoon. I want to take this guy because I think we just need big, big bodies. And maybe just slime molding. Like, should be fine. Lot left troll. Skull Ren. Deals two damage to each opponent. Those players discard two cards at random. So it's basically just take two, discard two. It's like a it's like a blightning for two extra mana and one less damage. Thought Flare seems sweet. Draw four, discard two at instant speed. I'm okay with Thought Flare. Oh, Arrest is great too. Yeah, we're probably just five colors, guys. At that point, like, we're just playing Detention Sphere. Breeding Pool seems fine. Ah, it's delicious. Very refreshing. It's just Pepsi Zero with some grenadine. I'm gonna take Breeding Pool. What up, Utter Pellin? Uh, Frenzy Tilling is fine. Like, especially in this form, being able to destroy their, um... Ooh, Aurelia? Uh, being able to destroy their bounce land is really strong. Uh, it's gotta be Aurelia, right? <laughs> yeah, it has to be Aurelia. Especially because we have Frenzy Tilling, Celestia Signet, at Prophetic Prism. Like, our fixing is decent. Whenever this becomes blocked, we destroy an artifact or enchantment. Sure. Angelic Edict, Executioner Swing, Target which is Delt Damage gets negative 5, negative 5. Keymaster Rogue is decent. We can return Civic Wayfinder or Quilling Oracle so far. I don't hate that, actually. I think that's... Oh, Verdant Haven's actually decent, too. Hmm... I'm gonna go with Keymaster Rogue because I don't think green is one of our... Second time it happened in the same draft. So that's cool. Uh, Key Master Rogue turned into Verdant Haven. Uh, what was the other one? <laughs> uh, we ended up getting like. Command. The was it Command the Storm instead of something else? I forgot what we were going to take instead of Command the Storm. If you guys remember, let me know. Angel of Grace is a 5-4 flyer with Flash. Seems fantastic. Notion Rain. Yeah, that was it. Yep, so that's two picks that have turned into other things. Alright, just going to take this and... Okay, good. It didn't mess up. If there's any white lands, we're just going to definitely take those. Mortify seems good. Yeah, let's mortify. Dude, I'm getting I'm like, like actually getting paranoid about like my picks now. I'm like, uh, is it gonna take the correct card? Do I have to like how careful do I have to be? How many gates do we have? Just one? One gate. I'm actually tempted to just take overgrown tomb is a guild gate here. The thing is, like, we only have three packs. We'd have 15, 16, 17. Oh, no, we have 15, 16, 17, 18. We have four packs after this. But we only have to, we only need three more picks. And that's, like, if we don't play Launch Party, which is definitely playable. Um, and because these packs are all, like, first picks, like, it's pretty decent. Like, it's pretty easy. We already have a Launch Party. I, I definitely don't think we need a second one. We have a giant Grizzly Spectacle, Landing Fire, Explitter, Arrest, Detention Fear, Mortify, Seal, Command. <laughs> like, our was actually pretty good here. I think I'm actually going to take just Overgrown Tomb and probably as a Guildgate. 
Golgari Rot Farm. Rewarded in our last Ravnica pack. Packed? Pack? Packed? Pack? What's happening right now? Well, we're taking the rot farm for sure. It's actually sword pack compared to mana cost. There we go. That's a little better. Um, four drops looking empty. Galvanic arc is good. Recollect is fine. It's just like I also don't hate primordial sage to be honest. Oh, dryad's caress. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm definitely leaning towards one of these two. I kind of like Prono Sage so just as a 4-5 that, like, a, a six-mana Beast Whisper. We only have six creatures, too, so I kind of want to take a creature. Yeah. Oh, Girl Spe Spellbreaker is a good one. Um... So Azor, I like I like Gruel Spellbreaker here, just as a four four. I think that guy's good. I think Azoria Skilled Gate's also fine. One two three four five six seven, eight lands. Patrick Mahomes, you idiot! What are you even saying? What are these suggestions you're making? I'm gonna take Azoria Skilled Gate. Okay, two more packs: seventeen and eighteen. Our three drop spots looking a little crowded. What's our pack? Last pack is Gate Crash. So we won't see any more Signets. Exile Creature Control, then return to the battlefield against First Strike. Sure, it's a, just a blinky boy. Um... I mean, it could just be Gruel Guildgate. I mean, it's just, I worry about the the number of lands we have that are coming to play tapped. And I also don't mind Applied Biomancy. I think this card's good. Or Grotesquemize, but I do like having two drops here. Oh, Stolen Identity is interesting. Stolen Identity is real interesting. You are an actual wizard, buddy. Ravnica is some of my favorite sets. Actually, Greenside Watcher is pretty decent with the number of gates we have. One, two, three, four. Four gates? Yeah, that guy seems fine. No one knows better than McCain. I'm just going to take this. Alright. So this is 24 cards. But we have three bounce lands, so we can play 15 lands. I think this is just the deck with our three-card sideboard. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Properties. I think my least favorite part is doing mana bases for this format. Thankfully, we only have four black and four blue. Unfortunately, one of those black is double black. And we have a lot of black fixing. Unforgiven. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, my dude. All right, so we're gonna have basic lands. <sighs> okay, white sources, we have seven symbols, four of which are here, <laughs> and we have a signet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's go to six. I can definitely see it. Like, Grizzly Spectral is two of our, our black. It might just be better to play Launch Party. But we only have nine creatures, too. So, we might do that. Uh, green is real high. So, we have ten green symbols. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot. 
I might go to seven just for the sake of preservation. Red, we have 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I might go to seven here too. Black, we only have four. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, black is pretty decent. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus the signets. That's seven black sources. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five. That's actually fine too for four blue sources, none of which are double blue. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's actually okay. I think it's actually very good. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to leave the spectacle. I mean, the greed is real, but this is a greedy format. Like, it's really hard to take picks that are always on color. They went to six. I will keep. They went to five? Oh, boy. What was that noise? Did the draft finally end? <laughs> oh, what up, Chorwit? So we can just go, like, Guildgate, Swamp, Rakdos, Signet. Then we can go Ixplitter into Carnarium. That seems pretty decent. That's our, that's our plan. That's the name of the game. Oh, is that Signet better? No, because we want to, we want to be able to cast this guy. Alternatively, next turn we can go land Celestia Signet. No, we can go land Celestia Signet Rakdos Spitter. No, I'm not with that. Whenever opponent is dealt three or more damage by a single source, they discard a card. Sure. One, two, three. Icky Boy. Carnarium. Swampy Boy. Fire main angel. Fire main angel. So we can go one, two, signet, and then one, two, three if we just play a basic here. That seems better. We don't have any green sources. We have one signet. I guess that's fine. Oh, wait. This is a carnarium. I'm dumb. Got it. Well, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> so we can go Gateway Plaza, still have five mana to play Thought Flare. I think that's fine. Yes. And that does let us play Primordial Sage next turn, which is really weird art. <laughs> it's not like there's a, there's a snake creature in the background. It's a spirit. Oh, well. Enchant creature. Whenever enchant creature attacks or blocks, this could. What? Why would I? Huh. Well, that's something, isn't it? It's a spirit. <laughs> Someone needs to figure out how to combine Supreme Draft and EDH so we can have a Supreme Commander format. <laughs> I think you could crunch them all together and wrap them in one big format. Crunch, wrap, supreme. Oh, dear God. 
So let's go like this and like this and like this and like this. And then a blue and a little thought flare. Discard two, huh? I mean, it's probably just is a guild gate and swamp. Look at our hand. Look at our hand. Okay. Oh, okay, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. This is eight mana. This is five. Do I want to keep up anything for three? No, not really. Right? No. Oh, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> Let's just play this guy. Okie dokie. Chris, you're getting very aggressive. Why don't you go F, uh, F uck yourself? Do you ever think about that? Okay, we won. We won the game. Oh, they just conceded the whole match. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> Undefeated. There's, they can't even see my perfectly groomed beard. I got some new beard oil today, and I put it in. I actually, I got it from Beard Brand. They're not a sponsor, unfortunately. But I got some spiced citrus. And God, I smell like Christmas, dude. Real question. Um, I, 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 I groom it. I take care. I like to take care of my facial hair. Does it taste good? You know? It's hard to say, based on my lack of eating it. I'll keep this hand. Any red source is just bananas. Erectus Carnarum. I like it. I like it. That's a white source. Turns on Mortify. Wow, idiot, you don't eat it. You drink beer. It's oil, stupid. It's not beard food. Thank you. Oh, that's pretty cool, too. Oh, not the plague. Welcome back, buddy. Love the Supreme. Just got to work selling us the draft portion. It'll be on the YouTube. Look at this little idiot. One, two, three, Ferdinand Haven on this guy. Gain that life. Tap it for Red Z's. Seal of Fire. Kill this dude. One, two, three, four. We have five mana. We can frenzy tilling their gruel turf next turn. God, that seems like the best thing you could do. Oops. I'm gonna pump this guy in response. <laughs> okay, you got it. It's probably just mountain, right? Gives us two red, two black, two white. Yeah, all right. <sighs> that girl turf had a family. Now it has a. Oh, another exploder. Okay. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have to have a second red from this guy. So we can go this guy. One one counter for sure. This guy. And get a planes. And just play planes.
Punish the enemy and shoot. Sounds good. Sounds good. Big fat idiot. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. We're just attacking because we're not going to block the frilled oculus, but okay, they're just going to they're just going to trust I don't have anything. Green. Tap that for a green. And one, two, three. Our relaxative, wow. Jesus God. Creature. As a rot is a rot farm. It's not it's not it wasn't it wasn't a creature. One, two, three, four. Do we just get in there? Probably, right? Just thought I'd say you're doing back to work. Unforgiven. Have a good night, buddy. Have a good afternoon. Have a good thing. Um, I'm just gonna bounce mountain here. Yep, you got it. All I want is to draw one card off Primordial Sage. I don't think that's asking too much. They don't. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna kill my guy. Well, that's unfortunate. I think we're just gonna mortify this thing. <laughs> Eh, I'm just going to command it. Command is probably worse, right? <laughs> it's it's more narrow. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's more narrow, it costs more, and it only deals five rather than killing the creature straight away. So. Okay, you got it. <laughs> white, white, red, red. I'm pretty sure we're just playing Aurelia here and then passing. So we're going to go green, add on the red, use the green for this. White, red, black, Aurelia. Okay. <laughs> what I've drawn. Uh, no, we're going to. Our deck is pretty sweet. In before people in the comments are like, why did you go five colors? You're so greedy. Sounds like something I would say. It does. What's your Patrick Mahomes, you idiot? How, where are we at on uh, on our Patrick Mahomes feelings? Shut uh, up and take keep. my money. What's happening? One greedy buck. Oh yes. Okay. Well, it's looking. This carnarium's looking rough. I don't really want to discard anything, so. One time, one time, one time. Land, 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 land. Gotta do it. That's unfortunate. I 
I think it's just fire. I mean, like our hand is literally removal and creatures and sure. Green source? It is a green source. Um, let's prism here. Because if we draw a guild gate, eh, we'll just play this. Okay. I believe you. You know what is delicious? Hamburgers. <laughs> Random, but okay. Okay. Train of thought for two. Sure. Sure. Surely. Do, 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 do. If we play this guy, we go down to seven, and then we just switch Rot Farm with something else. That seems pretty good, actually. Green. Spellbreaker. Let's do haste. This time is fine. And then next turn we can Frenzy Tilling again. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Punish him for his greed. Excellent. Do, 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 do. Hypothesizzle? You killing this guy? Discarding a sky mark rock. Okay, you got it. You got it. Get busy tilling. What are we getting? Probably a white. For sure. Dude, Frenzy Tilling on, on, on Bounce Lands is fucking bonkers. Okay. Wow, you just milled two lands? Oof. Chef's kiss. That's like letting me scry too. <laughs> That's real good. I bet we're going to draw Aurelia. You ready? It's just a feeling. I just have an Ophelia. It was a command of storm. I, I lied. I didn't lie. I was just wrong. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Add a green. This fat daddy. You ever get bored of working at 3 p.m.? Um, I, I wouldn't say bored, but I do. I almost get irritated at myself because I mean to start earlier. And, like, the later I start, like, the shorter my stream is going to be because, like, I want to spend time with, like, Katie and stuff. And so. Oh, uh, we move these here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can definitely play this guy. I have five cards in hand. Jesus. Yeah, I'm just getting in the red. And we already have a swamp we can discard pretty easily. I just had some street tacos. I, I had some tacos for lunch today, actually. Lose a life for each counter. You got it. Look at this. Look at this rib kit. Look at this body counter. That's a blood counter. 
You don't know anything about blood counters. Steam core weird. Weird. Um, I think we're just getting rid of two lands here, to be quite honest with you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight mana. Yeah, let's just get rid of two lands. Shut up and take my money. One taco buck, Kerwit. You're a saint. One, two, three, four. Right, so I'm just going to play it like this, because I don't think the extra mana matters. And if we hit, like, Aurelia, I want to be able to play it. It was a Ragdos Signet. Okay, well, this is this is the best we got. I am worried about our creature count. We have one, two, three in the graveyard, four on board. I think we only have like eight creatures in our deck. There's so much removal in this format. Maybe they die to their own blood letter quill. I will take one. Thank you. We can also bounce our our coiling oracle. Shove Junior with the resub. Thank you so much, guys. Murbler with the resub. I totally missed it, man. Thank you so much, dude. I think I read your comment, but then I didn't actually. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub, my dude. Is that going fifteen? Sure. I mean, milling them with. Grizzly Spectacle is definitely not uh, uh, terrible if they play like a 5-5 five five or something. Another Steam Core Weird. Okay. Steam Core Weird is MVP. Yep, sure. It's a big ass slime molding. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm tempted to detention sphere the blood litter quill and just play slime molding for six. I mean, I'm definitely not going to desphere these guys. I just don't care what one threes. I'm more concerned with them drawing a card every other turn. One, two, three, four. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to kill this because that's just literally how this format works, but that's fine. Hunter's having some dreams. Hunter is dreaming. They didn't kill our guy. Interesting. Maybe they don't have removal. One, two, three, four, five. So we, we know how much mana we have. So we can arrest this and still play Aurelia, right? It's so like one, two, three, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Sure. So 
So we're going to go one, two, three, white, Aurelia. Are you Ferelia right now? Oh, she has haste? See, I didn't know that. I totally forgot. She's got like 17 lines of text, so that's my bad. I feel like she's dead. Yeah, she did. Torchy. Okay. That's what we like to call a post haste. <laughs> it's true. So they have four cards, we have four cards. Our hand is straight removal. Oh my god, can you guys hear him? He's so loud right now. This way they don't draw the card. We mailed that. Is this another racked it? Oh, yeah, that's fine. None of these things. None of these things are actually that great. Oh, now they have one card in hand. Sure. All right, well, ooze is lethal. Okay. Do we think, oh, they have no cards in hand? Wow. Sure. Buddy. Hmm, 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 hmm. So this is a six. Four, five, six, seven. I think this is fine. Green, white. Yeah, we could have bounced Guardian, but then they just replay it. Like, I want to get rid of the Guardian. Anyway. Our deck is good. You picking up some of them JTMS K Swisses? What? Jace the Mind Sculptor K Swisses? Are you serious? Is that a real thing? I'm not sure if K Swiss is really my 
my particular brand, but that's super interesting. 300 pairs? Wow. Chris, you got a link? Oh, fuck. You're already there. You got it. Dang. Okay, these actually look pretty sweet. Wow. Oh, and they glow in the dark? What? These are wild. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, this is a keeper. Dude, this soda's making me all gassy. 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 Around the time I forgot I really had haste. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list, checking it twice. Gonna find out if Michael B's nice. Santa Claus is coming. This is actually pretty awkward because it leaves us with nothing to do. I guess we'll play Icky. Man, roll Guildgate here would have been, or roll Turf would have been amazing. Oh my god, they're gonna oh man, they're gonna they're gonna mutate this turn. Oh, but I still get to kill that? Well that's kinda cool. Let's take a play of biomancy that is easily the weakest card in our hand. This is wild. Checking it twice. Wish I had lands. They'd be real nice. Give me a land. You know what? That's kind of like a land, I guess. Any land next turn, I get to play uh, Frenzied Tilling on this Chancery, which is just... Chef's kiss. Look at his hand. Just take all the removal, guys. It's really not a hard format. Nah, bro. No draw, no gain. Land. Oh, you stupid guild game piece of shit. Oh, my God.
red, red, black, 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 green, green, blue. Let's get another white. What is this? Four or five? Okay. Taking a shit, checking it twice. So we just actually chump block this, not chump, but like eat it. Fingers crossed this doesn't backfire. Psh, 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 psh. No, what? No, don't use the white for that. This one. <sighs> Lumbering claws is coming to town. You stupid guild gate. Yeah, okay, you got it. You got it. Get in there. I don't think we're going to... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're probably just going to play this. I mean, I'm trying to, like, save up for Thought Flare and keep cards in hand to discard, but... Well, I have Mortify, so... What does it say? Discard two cards. Souls of Resonance Control sacrifices it. No, I'm just gonna just gonna steal my guy back. Three, one, two, three, four. Making a list, check the dice. Gonna draw two cards that are nice. You stupid Gilgate piece of shit! <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. It was. It was funny. I laughed. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So one, two, three, four, five. Did I, am I overpaying? One, two, th oh, I need blue. That's what I needed, blue. I'm like, did I, did I spend too much? Okay, this is actually a pretty easy uh, situation here. We can get rid of planes and plaza. Play mountain. Arrest this buddy. So they attack for three. I think we're just passing here. This does not feel like a a winning scenario. Stupid Bill Gates. <laughs> One, 
to Oracle. Spellbreaker. One, two, three. Spellbreaker. One, one counter. One, two, prism. Just keep cycling. Cycle through our whole deck. Verdant Haven. Okay. See, now we're going to attack. There's nothing I have no responses, so we're just half sixing here. Uh, no blocks. Get in there, I guess. Oh, just take four. Wild. So we're going to go one, two, three. Nope, not that guy. You on here. And this guy. All right. I feel like we're in okay shape. That's not ideal. So they double block here. Hmm. This is problematic. Should have put on a guild gate. I hate guild gates. They're dead to me. Hold on one second, guys. Um, I just don't know if it's worth attacking here. I get to take both of these down, which I think is fine. Double block, huh? Okay. I'm getting rid of the big fat one. Or am I not? No, I am. They have one card. I'm very curious as to what it is when they're at one. Repeal. Bounce their own bat. No. Bounce the arrest. Three, four, five. Sure. Interesting. So then I can attack for four. Well, taking four here. But aren't they dead to Angel? My confusion is so real. Mm, that's a good one. That's a very good one. 
Solid top decks all. So, they're still dead, right? How are... What? My... Uh, okay, weird attacks, but all right. <laughs> I guess that's a thing. That was a weird attack, but okay. Are we just going to 3-0 this draft? That'd be pretty sweet. Ugh, God. I'm, gonna, I'm on the draw. I'm actually going to keep this. If this, is a, if this is a bounce land, I'd say no. But, like, considering we have Oracle and Signet, and any land lets us play um, Signet on turn two. Plus, then we have Explitter and Civic Wayfinder, so, like, we have two turns to hit a land. I think that's actually pretty fine. <laughs> you know what? We'll play Is It Guildgate first, because then we get to play Seal of Fire on turn two. Oh, what up, McGimp? Welcome back, my dude. Now that we have been together for two years, when you're putting a solar ring on it, do, do, you, do you feel like you've earned the, the two mana? Would you say? Yeah, if you like it, then you should add a two mana. If you like it, then you should add two mana. Yes, I agree. You've been a good friend. I appreciate you. Okay. Okay. So we definitely need a green source here. That'd be good. We got a Nikki boy. We can play all three of these. We need some green for these. They don't have a black for that. That's actually fine. And then we just get to play Explitter. Ex I keep saying Splitter, but it's obviously Spitter because he spits. It's in the name. E-A. It's in the name. Still need a green. I less than three you. Your stream is always entertaining if you know how the fun is. Fear, fear to monkey, I appreciate you, buddy. What? Jenna Cruz doesn't untap? Why would you do such a thing? I do not understand. Let's just get a green. Our deck has so much card advantage. It's just phenomenal. Phenomenal. This guy also just ramps us too. That's pretty cool. Hold on.
Oh my god, we haven't seen this guy once. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's add a blue. Let's oracle. Drew a frenzied McTillingson. I don't really want to take five in the air here. I think we're actually just going to burn this dude out. And next turn, we're just going to rock their Chancery out. Got it. Uh, what are we adding? I feel like it's always planes because we have Aurelia. Okay, you added two. All right, you did nothing with it. Good call. I love it when they tap their land for mana, even though they don't have anything to use with it. It's turn eight. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five, seven mana. So we can play these two. That seems good. Might as well get in there. Oh, really? Oh, ballin'. Give you plus one bounce. Seven mana, so this is going to cost you to have five left over. Yeah, bounce this guy. Uh, blue, green. So we can go like this. That's what we call a pro gamer blowout move. That is what we call it, yeah. Yeah, this game feels pretty good. We're definitely unleashing this dude. Is a thing. One, two, three. Because green. Four. One, two, three. Carnarium. One, two. Could we have just won if we stole this back? Probably, right? Oh, I think we still win anyway, right? <laughs> it's a still game. Wow, it really is a hell of a drug. 
All right, 3-0, probably our easiest trophy ever. And uh, we're gonna find out what uh, what's in this old treasure chest. Treasure chest. Is it gonna be good? It's not, it's an artifact mutation and a void stone gargoyle. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at manatraders.com. If you guys are looking for a sweet VPN, which you should be because internet security is pretty important. You can check out NordVPN. The link is in the description below. NordVPN.org, I believe. I keep, I keep forgetting the exact link because I'm not very smart. But uh, slash Frank Lepore, and you can get 70% off your first two-year subscription along with uh, one month free, 68% off to be exact. It's NordVPN.org slash Frank Lepore, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.